Now, um, I'm going to quick disable this just so it renders faster. So you want your footage to start completely zoomed out so you have as much room to work with as you can. So you, to get your footage how it was, you go to transform, fit to comp, and that will fit it perfectly. All right, so hit P, hold shift, and hit S. So we're going to be moving the position and the scale. So we'll keyframe both of those. And I want to zoom in right with the first effect. Actually, you know what? Since that starts so fast, I'm going to zoom in on the second one here. So right when he's coming in here, I'm going to set, copy, and paste these keyframes over. So that stays the same to there. And then right through the swing, we will increase the scale. And remember, don't go past 100 here. Otherwise, you will start losing quality. So actually, 100 should be good. Go to 100. And that way, we'll ease this in a little bit. It's kind of harsh. It will zoom in. And then also we can change the position to kind of line that up with the middle more. All right, so now it comes in, he swings, and the zoom comes in. I think we'll make that a little faster. All right, so to make this a little more less choppy, we'll do the um, motion blur and then check it for the uh, footage as well. So that just makes some blur here to make it fade in a little nicer. All right, so goes in and then we want it to come back out with the next stroke. So right about here we'll have it zoom back out. So we'll copy the zoomed in keyframes, paste some copy the zoomed out keyframes, paste them back again. So that pulls back out. So that's my technique of doing the um, zoom. And I'm sure there's other ways to do it, especially if you have a very high quality camera. But if you're working with 1080i footage or P footage, I found this is the best way to do it. All right, so now for some color correction. So go to layer, new adjustment layer. And I'm gonna be using a video copa preset called um, Indie Film, and that comes with the Film Magic Pro product from Video Copilot. And I found this gives me at least a good base color to try and get that harsher feel in 300. And it's not going to be exact, but I kind of like this. All right, one thing I did like in the movie was there's a lot of glow in the light. So I'm going to go to glow and drop that on. And then this obviously needs to be dropped a little bit. Now the problem is with this shot, there's a lot of highlights here that I don't want glowing. I really just want the sky glowing. So to decrease the rest of the highlights from going in just the sky being affected, or more or less just the sky, um, I found that what you can do is create a mask to apply the harsh glow color correction to really only the top half because that's what we want. So we're going to take our adjustment layer and we're just going to create a simple mask about like that. And then we're going to go to feather and feather that in so that fades in. Now what we need to do is duplicate the adjustment layer, bring it underneath, and then take the mask and check invert. And then delete the glow and then um, I also brought down the opacity because I didn't want it quite as harsh as it was on the top so this way you can really dynamically control your color correction so I'm gonna put it at maybe 60 percent or so and so this way got the clip the sky is nice and lit up and blown out and the grass and all these other hot spots aren't really so um, that's what I did. Um, the next thing we're going to do is add another adjustment layer and quick letter box. This comes with the magic bullet suite. Change this to anamorphic. And I added a vignette. Oops. 
you don't have to add this, but I like the effect. So there you have it, the 300 effect. And remember, the main thing you want is the frame blending on. And this will really smooth out the effect. And then from there, it's really just figuring out exactly where you want the time remapping to happen and kind of tweaking that. So then, yeah, once you have it all tweaked, you should have a really cool 300 effect. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. That always helps and makes our day better. And thanks for watching.